What's up guys, it's Dwayne back again for another video, back again for the reaction and today's a great, wonderful, amazing, beautiful day because it's a Germany day. German houses versus American houses. Without further ado, let's get into this reaction, let's go. If you're an American and you're thinking about moving to Germany, I'm going to share with you 10 differences I'm not, between German but I, houses I would live American there. Houses. I'm British. What's up, everybody? I'm Steve Miguel, and you're watching XP Life Now. On this channel, I share with you new things that I learned and experienced as it pertains to travel and different cultures. So if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. There's a lot of differences between German houses and American houses. Okay. But this video won't be all inclusive. I'm just going to share with you 10 things that I feel are an important thing to know if you're considering moving to Germany. So the first major difference is actually not in the house at all. German houses are typically close together in a community. Since I've been here, I've never seen a house that was just off by itself. Compared to the US, it's very common for houses to be separated by a kilometer or so. Which is really, really nice. Uh, it's, it sounds a lot like the UK. There's very rarely would you see a house just on its own, like a detached house with a garden with no neighbors. We just don't have that type of land and we all are in like quite close knit communities. So sounds this sounds similar. Especially in rural areas like in the South. The second major difference is German houses tend to be built up. I've never seen a house that was only one floor. Uh, typically, it's at least two floors. Mm. The house that I live in is actually three floors. Versus in the US, it's very common to find houses that are only one floor. The third major difference. Yeah, we don't really have those unless it's for old people. Is that the same in Germany? We have like houses that are like, we call them bungalows. Uh, and they're just one floor. And you have the bedroom and you have the living room all on one floor. And that um, tends to be for older people. But it's really good that in America, all, a lot of your houses are built on one floor because when you get old, you don't have that issue of climbing stairs. Prince is the carport. For German houses, it's a common thing to have the carport separated from the house. Sometimes yeah. you'll have one Same like the UK. where it's just a cover. Um, other times you'll actually have one that you can close. Now this is different from the US where the garage is usually a major piece of the house and it's actually attached to the house. Um, it also serves as another point of entry into the house. And typically they're made to fit one or two cars. So the fourth major difference between German houses and American houses are the doors. The only way to lock the doors in German houses are with the key. Another thing to note is that if you don't have your key when you go outside, you could potentially be locked out of the house because, as you can see, most doors don't have any kind of doorknob. So when you... Oh, is that, is that the case in all German houses? Because in England, we definitely do have a handle on the outside in a lot of houses and we can get back in. It doesn't just, they don't just lock themselves when we walk out the door but is that the case in i guess it's safety for safety reasons it's good if you you'll never forget to lock your door because you close it and it's locked pretty good but i think most houses in the uk have a have a handle on the outside when you close it it's it's shut and you have to have a key in order to open it the fifth major difference between german houses and american houses is the heating in my house and okay. in most German houses, you have radiators yeah. to heat the house up. And what's cool about these things is they're all throughout the house in every single room. And you only heat the rooms that you are in. For example, I spend most of my time downstairs. So I almost never turn on the ones on the second and third floor, including the bedroom because I like my bedroom cold. The sixth major difference between German houses and American houses are... You didn't even explain what they have in America then. If they don't have radiators in each room, what do they have in America? You didn't explain that. Um, I thought that was normal. I thought all houses had radiators. Now I'm curious as to what they have in America to heat their houses. The refrigerators. In most German homes, your fridge won't actually look like a fridge, but will look like a ordinary cabinet. It does not have a freezer. Um, which 
is something that I think is pretty standard. Um, I've been in quite a few German homes and I have yet to see a freezer. Typically oh, really? all refrigerators within American houses will also be a freezer. The seventh major. Uh, is that just on the ones that he's seen? Let me know in the comment section below if he's seen all German houses because in the UK we have fridges just like that but then we have fridges that have freezers on the top half. Um, well, uh, most of our fridges have, it's a fridge and then there's a, a chest freezer on the top half of the fridge. Let me know. I mean, they're, they're very common to purchase and I'm guessing if you can purchase them in the UK, I'm sure in Germany you have them also. Let me know. Let me know if he's just, it's just the house that he's in. Major difference between German houses and American houses is that German houses don't have closets. So most of the time you have to buy something like a wardrobe in order to store your clothes. In American yeah. houses, every single bedroom will have a closet for you to oh, put your okay. clothes in. So the eighth major difference with- Yeah, I mean, a lot of houses in the UK don't have closets. They just, you just have a wardrobe that you have to purchase and put in. And it's funny because <laughs> they're small, they're a lot smaller than American houses as, as, as it is. And then you have to purchase a wardrobe which takes up even more space in a room. I would much prefer a house that has a built-in closet um, than having to purchase a wardrobe to put in a house. I do agree with that. It's between German houses and American houses are the windows. The first thing I want to point out about the windows are the Rolladens. Rolladens are these metal Ooh. or plastic shutters that you can let either up or down, uh, depending on what you want to do. I love the those. The second thing I want to point out about the windows is that there are two different ways that you can open them. If you don't want to open the window all the way up so that you don't have to deal with bugs and potentially birds flying in, all you have to do is turn the knob all the way all up. All the way up and pull. And the window comes down to about this point. Even with it like this, I can already start to feel the cool air start to come into the room. But if you want to completely air out the room, the window actually comes all the way open. And all you have to do is Turn the knob to the side, and now the window opens all the way. To lock it, yeah. just turn I, it down. Yeah, no. I've seen those windows. I, I had one of these windows when I was a kid, um, so it's not shocking to There's me. no standard window for American homes, but one of the things that really comes in handy that you find in the U.S. but won't find in Germany are screens. Typically in America, windows will come with screens. Oh, they're like mosquito screens, right? Keep the bugs out if you want to open it up. The ninth major difference between German houses and American houses are the ceilings. Looking at German houses from the outside, they mm. tend to have very steep chimneys. They tend to have very steep chimneys. Um, Steve Bruce. And you actually see that when you go into the house. So you definitely want to take this into consideration when you think about uh, the different types of furniture that you want to buy or move over here. The last major difference between German houses and American houses are the bathrooms. How? Um, What's wrong? Specifically the toilet it's normal and to me. the tubs. Uh, the thing that I want to, a couple things I want to point out about the toilet, if you'll notice, it does not have a uh, back tank to it that is visible or um, accessible. Oh yeah. Also. Yeah, yeah, there isn't a back tank. It just seems like it's built into the wall. Uh, it doesn't go into the floor. And typically oh, yeah. what you find in American houses is you the toilet will be uh, mounted onto the floor. I just realized um, that. And it'll have a water tank in the back. And then Yeah, where's the water tank and where and it's just floating into mid air. Is it sturdy? Like, that's interesting actually. I want to point out about the toilet is that German toilets don't have a lot of water in the bowl. Um, mm. the, the hole is typically far in, the, like way in the back and you have like all this flat space uh, in the toilet. So you have to do a really good job aiming or you're gonna have to use the brush to, to clean it. Um, also, with German toilets, um, they do a really good job flushing compared to American toilets. 
uh, the toilets in America, when you flush them, unless you're in a, a public restroom, when you flush them, they tend to do, um, they do this swirl. The water comes in and it does this swirling motion um, to drain out. But with German toilets, when you flush it, it just does that. Yeah, that's what, that's what British toilets do. I don't know. The swirling thing is very American. Never had a problem with anything uh, not going down in German toilets. As I said, the tubs are different as well. They tend to have these shower nozzles attached to them. But as you can see, there is no Yeah, we have those as well. Or anything to stop the water from getting onto the floor. That is because the shower is actually over here. You could install a shower curtain if you wanted. Question of the day. What are some things that you liked about German houses that you would like to incorporate into your own? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't. <laughs> I'm not sure if ev everything in this list is everything that is in every single German household. I haven't been to Germany, but I just feel like as a European country, you know, we have a lot of things. Like the, the fridge freezer situation, he was saying, oh, German houses don't have freezers. I'm pretty sure there'll be German houses with freezers. Let me know in the comment section below <laughs> whether that's just him and his experience of being in maybe one or two German houses, but the majority of you have freezers. I just believe, I believe you guys have freezers. Let me know, let me know. And fridge freezers where they're built in. Let me know. Guys, thanks for watching. Until the next one, I will see you very soon.